VP of Sales for Barletta Pontoons, and I'm here today with Josiah, our head of design at Barletta. And Josiah, we're having a lot of fun right now because we're launching a new product line for us called the Corsa, and it's it's just been great. It's been a good time developing this with you, and our whole team's really had a, a, a lot of fun with this project. So it was about a year ago, our CEO and president, Bill, came to us, and he challenged our team to do everything that's great about Barletta. All the great design, all the uh, comfortable use, all the elegant, all the class, and the great sturdy ride that has really made us such an awesome, fun brand to have and be a part of. But he asked us to do it in a sport version, and it's something Barlett hadn't really done before. So we've had a good time with it, and specifically for you, because you know you came on board really for the launch of the Corsa project. It's been your baby since the beginning in a lot of ways, from the design standpoint and materials usage, and and uh, I think you knocked it out of the park. So anyway, congratulations on a great product launch. Tell us a little bit about how you carried the Barletta DNA into a sport version of it. Yeah, absolutely. So this exterior, along with that, that DNA that Barletta has with the, the long sweeping line, which you see here on this, on this side, and also with the sheared bow, where the bow rails taper, all consistent with every line from C-class to L-class. All of those are consistent features in our boats, along with these little details like this kick that is also consistent in uh, in this Corsa rail. You'll see that in the L rail as well. Um, but like you said, the, the goal of this in a sport boat was to create this maybe a more heavier look in the back with, you can, this is your Keller accent area, you, you know, with the two-tone look that you see. But it makes this whole boat look like it's, it's moving faster on the water. It's got a more of a, uh, a launch stance into it already. One of the things that I really like about it, Josiah, is at, at the bow, you know, you said it carried that same Barletta line that's pretty typical of our boats, and you can see them coming across the water because of it. But we thinned everything out at the front. So, you know, that front stripe just seems to be a little bit no, more narrow than what we've done in the past. And, you know, to me, it, it gives it that kind of, that's that, like it's almost like it's crouched at a starting line. Just a great, great stance at the bow. So love that. And I also love um, the badging that you put up here with the courses. So it, it just looks great and it ties into that sport theme. Very well done. Another thing, Josiah, that I picked up on, you know, quickly when, when we were doing the design work on it is what you did differently back here. So, you know, all of our boats that have an open, um, open stern to them, um, so the UC, for example, or our SS packages, they've all got kind of a sweeping flow to the back. Yeah. And to me, I love it because it's very nautical. It reminds me like of an old barrel back boat from the 20s. Just, it's just gorgeous. It's classic nautical design and it looks great on a pontoon. But this is a little different than what we've done in the past. So tell me about it. Well, it just adds to that edginess, that sportiness to this, to this rail design. So yes, all of our other boats have a very flowing all the way back to, the, to where the rail meets the deck. But in this, it just gives it that little bit of edginess that suggests that it's more of a sport boat than a, just a classic cruiser. And, and it's great. So, you know, specifically right here, it goes, you know, from a flowing line and then a little bit of a sharp edge and it just falls back off into the deck. Yep. And it's dynamite. And then, you know, of course, it wouldn't be a Barletta without a nice big rear swim platform. Absolutely. So functionally, all of the things that we've done very well in our boats, we haven't had to sacrifice at all when we did the sport version. No. And as you step inside the boat, you know, immediately, if you've followed our progression of our brand and the boats that we've built, um, most everything we've done is very earth tone so far. So, you know, some gray, some earthy grays, some tans, some beiges. You get onto this Barletta and it's anything but. So tell us a little bit about this interior. So this interior really took a lot of inspiration from the, uh, the yacht industry and what they were doing um, down south, the Florida region. But it's a light color, it's a sport color, really. And uh, you get to choose your accents with it. So uh, just adding to that element of sport, like what the, what the customer may want, a blue, a white, um, or the red like you see here in the red interior. So the red looks great, it really pops, and then this is our base color, and that may, we do that base color on every course that we build, and it's, it's more of a ghost white. It's not really white white, it's certainly not cream or eggshell. So, you know, kind of a ghost white color with these great carbon looking accents, I just love it. And then another thing I notice when I step on a Corsa is the detail in the materials that you're using. There's just yeah. a lot going on here. So will you kind of walk me through what that's all about? Yeah, so 
good design is about mixing colors and materials and textures all in a way that they all flow together and that's really what the goal was here we didn't want this to be too busy but we also wanted you to wanted the customer when he's out on his boat for different textures and materials and perforations to catch the customer's eye that he may sit down after a year owning his boat and be like oh wow i didn't realize that that texture of that material was in the in the in this boat well, you nailed it. And um, just true to Barletta, great big comfortable bow lounges, armrests. I love the cutouts. It's a first for Barletta and they are Yeti ready. They're nice and tall back here. And then boom, there's something that's a little bit different on this boat, as you said. These awesome speaker great. So is that custom work? How do we get those? Well, actually, that's, that's an inspirational piece to this boat. I mean, it just, it, it talks about, it's not just a sport boat. It's also, a it's a luxury sport boat. So you have these little details of stainless that is all laser cut. It's, it's our custom design, but it also suggests, hey, this is not just a, a sport boat. This has a luxury element to it. I love it. I absolutely love it. And the, the, the uh, stitching and the furniture just jumps out at you, but it jumps out of you in such a classy and an elegant way for a sport boat. And, you know, it's great that we kind of pull those things together. Now always a very important part of every pontoon boat and certainly something that Barletta always likes to do well is put a killer killer helm on it and so you know I'm in sales I like to run my mouth about great leg room you know comfortable positioning the ergonomics have to be right the flow of the helm has to be good and so we absolutely nailed it on this you did a beautiful job you took everything we've done great at Barletta and made it just a little bit better but it stands out differently than what we've done in the past. You know, I love the racing stripes on the floor. Just a little bit of a, you know, a nice touch there. And um, I love how there's just unique lines on this boat. It's got an edgy feel. So just kind of walk me through, if you will, some and, of the things you like about that helm. Yeah, so again, this console, in inspiration from the L console, you see a lot of very similarities between it. There's, again, there's a sporty element. We, we embellished upon it. We took the design just a little bit further. But what you get is you get that family look between the L and now the corset, just uh, the color and also the lines make it more sporty looking. There's some ergonomic details that are a little bit different, like we moved the switches away from the uh, steering wheel and all of those happen because of, we, because of customers and market feedback and they give us inspiration design wise and this is what happens when we use that information uh, and I love it so not only is it just beautiful look to look at but it's great to use too you know a cell phone charger right here and you know tucked below that trim piece so you got a little bit of shade on it when it's sunny out I love the electronics off of the side it's just much easier to use over there you know from a uh, from a usability standpoint it just makes sense so fantastic job on the helm and of course you got this dynamite looking helm chair sitting right, right behind it I love it and one thing that is a lot of fun on this helm chair we pulled a lot of uh, I guess you'd call it strapping yeah. or um, you know design into our seats so we see it on our L we see it kind of across the line a little bit but kind of a fun little piece at the back of the helm so very cool love it so if we jump back to one of the most important parts of a Barletta for a lot of our owners is the Ultra Lounge because it's such a great functional piece. And I love what you've done this year, not just on the Ultra Lounge, but other places on the corset. It's a little more boxy than we've done in the past. Yeah. And to me, it kind of is, um, it's kind of a contemporary design. Would you agree with that? I do. And, but again, the design of this came from just us sitting in a boat and realizing this wasn't giving the right support to somebody sitting in our boats in this position. So we squared it up to actually give you more back support. And that's really all that's changed about that and the reason why we changed it. Well, I love it because it looks good too. I mean, I think yeah. it it, um, it it just touches it up but with a little bit more class than we've seen in the past. And then again, that little strapping theme, I, I think looks fantastic. I love the darker boxing around the base. And if, um, if we take everything that I personally like about the shape of that seat, you'll also notice we kind of rolled that into the bow too. So the bench seats on the boat in the pontoon world tend to be very round and they've got kind of more of a rolled look and, and that's nice and it's beautiful. And you know, we've done it, we've done that very well on some of our other boats, but because we're lean in sport, 
you know, to me, we kind of flatten this out a little bit. It's got just a little bit more of a contemporary shape, both through the back and through the top. So it sits great and looks great at the same time. So a few final points about this boat. Um, it wouldn't be a fantastic Barletta if we didn't do a doggy dish. And so we've got a wonderful doggy dish in a great new location. Very smooth operating, love it. Glove box with an accent piece running across it that looks just great. And a final point that I like to uh, make on the upholstery, we've got a little bit new font on the Corsa. And so we took our traditional script and we love the script and we've got it on the outside of the boat. It is very much the Barletta way, but we tied a little bit of fun race yeah. font into it too. So yeah. very cool. So really enjoyed working on this project. I think it's a great uh, piece to our lineup, to our boat lineup. Just gives the customer something a little bit different, that customer that wants a sport boat. The team did an awesome job at really from the sales point, from the sales team all the way to engineering and even our production team putting these boats together. So we're very happy and very excited for this boat this upcoming model year. I couldn't agree more, Josiah. It's, it's been a blast to work on this. It is uh, everything that's great about Barletta with a little bit of a twist that, you know, we're anxious to have in the lineup this year. And so I think it's going to, you know, a, a lot of our longtime supporters are going to really like what they see. It's Barletta all day long. Um, but we might pull some new people into our world, too, because it's just got, you know, it's just a little bit edgy where we weren't yep. before. And um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. We're looking forward to showing everybody in dealerships across the country. The boats are starting to get out right now. And um, if you got any questions, feel free to you know call your local dealer. We'll be happy to answer questions and uh, look forward to getting you out in them. Of course, we love doing test drives. Our boats ride like no other boat in the pontoon industry. There's something very, very special if you haven't been in them. So come check them out. We look forward to showing you the new course and we'll see you on the water.